Hello, welcome. Take a moment, read this question, and then press play when you're ready to solve it with me. So we got a lot to unpack here. We've got iridium-192 is an isotope of iridium. It has a half-life of 73.83 days. So it's a half-life problem. Half-life is a measurement of time. It's the amount of time it takes for, in this case, the isotope iridium to break down to half of its substance. So about 100 grams of this substance after 73.83 days, you would have 50. It's the amount of time it takes for that to happen. And this is a laboratory experiment. It begins with 100 grams of the iridium. 192. Okay, so that's 100 grams in the beginning, which is why I have this number here. The number of grams A of iridium 192 present after T days, okay, we're underlining that, that's our time unit, would be the following. So they're giving us the formula. The amount after a certain amount of time, let's just read the formula. It starts at 100, and then you half it every 73.83 days. Time is the amount of days. So if you plug in, for example, 73.83, look what happens. You get one half to the power of 73.83 divided by 73.83, and that's just equal to 100 times one half to the first. In other words, other words, it's one halving of 100, which is 50. So if you plug in 73.83 here, you can see that it does leave you with half of what you started with. The formula makes sense. And they're saying, which equation approximates the amount of iridium-192 present after t days? They're asking you, which one of these equations here is actually the same? Now, a common type of question uh, in the Regents is like this, where you have to manipulate the exponents. What do I mean? Well, uh, if you have a equals 100 times 1 half to the 1 over 73, 0.83 times t, you have the same equation. In other words, in the regions, they want you to see that you can split these exponents up, right, into different factors. If you multiply 1 over 73.83 times t, you get t over 73.83, right? You multiply t by 1, and that's the same thing. Why do they do this? They want you to realize that um, either exponent can be applied in either order. In other words, you can say this equals 100 times 1 half to the power of 1 over 73.83. You can deal with that part first. I'll put that in brackets. And then you can apply the t exponent. right? Because here the law of exponents says you can multiply these two exponents together, and it would be the same thing as we had before. So what we've got to do is find out what this equals right here. What is 1 half to the 1 over 73.83? It's like the 73rd root of a half. It's going to be a small number, right? And before I actually calculate that, let me look at my choices. I notice that there are some decimals here. So it might be one of those. Um, let's do that. So um, 0.5 is 1 half to the power of, I'm going to put it in brackets here, 1 divided by 73.83. And there's 0 0.990655. So, it is this choice right here, 100 times 0 0.990656 to the t power. So we're just rewriting um, our formula using the laws of exponents. It's a very common question. You pull apart the exponent, and you distribute part of it to your base. We, here we distributed 1 over 73.83 to the base of a half, and rewrote it in essentially a simpler form. This equation right here has one base and one power. You don't have to deal with uh, a fraction in your exponent, which is nice. All right, thank you.